Hello everyone, welcome to element number 93, Neptunium. Let's get into the element. You may have noticed a trend over the last 9 elements. They are all radioactive, but the odd numbered ones have very short half-lives, while the even numbered ones last much longer, in some cases billions of years. This trend continues through berkelium, element number 97, and is due to the way the protons and neutrons pack themselves in the nucleus. Just as the noble gases are chemically stable because they have just the right number of electrons to form a complete outer shell, the nuclei of even numbered elements in this range have the right number of protons and neutrons to form advantageous configurations. Another, if shorter trend, is that elements 92, 93, and 94 are all named after planets. This trend started with uranium, element number 92, named in 1789 after the planet Uranus, discovered eight years before the element. The fact that uranium was discovered in 1789 is alarming when you consider that the phenomenon of radioactivity was not discovered until 1895, more than a hundred years later. During all that time, people had absolutely no idea that there was something very, very different about uranium. That unlike all other known elements, it could leap out of its container and bite you. Neptunium was the first transuranic, i.e. beyond uranium, element to be discovered in 1940 at the University of California, Berkeley. UC Berkeley. By convention, uranium is considered the last naturally occurring element, but in fact, very tiny amounts of neptunium should exist in uranium-bearing minerals due to nuclear side reactions triggered by uranium's decay. There are no common applications for neptunium, but you almost certainly have some at home. The standard household smoke detector uses a tiny amount of americium, element number 95, to generate alpha particles whose interaction with smoke particles can be detected. The isotope of americium used Americium-241 has a half-life of 432 years, and its decay product is Neptunium-237, isotope of Neptunium, with a much longer half-life of 2,145,500 years. The older your smoke detector is, the more Neptunium you'll find has accumulated in it, to the point where after a few thousand years, it'll pretty much all be Neptunium. A few tens of millions of years after that, it will nearly all be stable thallium, element number 81. If you're interested in learning about element number 81, I made a video on thallium. The link will be in the description below. Continuing the trend of planet names, or at least used to be planet names, depending on whether Pluto is defined as a planet this week or not, we arrived next at the most potent symbol of death and destruction in the modern age, the grim reaper of the elements, plutonium. I will talk about plutonium in a future video. Other than that, let's continue with the element neptunium. Before we do that, here's some information on radioactivity. In some atoms, the nucleus changes over time, releasing particles and energy known as radiation. This process is called radioactive decay. We encounter low-level radiation all the time, in the soil, in the air, and in the food we eat. Using radiation. Whilst high levels of radiation can be harmful, some forms of radioactivity are useful. PET scanners or PET scanners use gamma rays to produce highly detailed images of the inside of the body, which can help doctors to diagnose illnesses. Detecting radiation. Radiation is invisible, but it can be detected using a Geiger counter. This simple handheld device uses a gas-filled tube to measure the presence of alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. All forms of radioactivity. There are three types of radioactivity. Positively charged alpha particles, which are slow moving and cannot pass through materials easily. Negatively charged beta particles, which move much faster. And gamma rays, a form of electromagnetic radiation which carry no charge. An alpha particle consists of two protons and two neutrons, without the electrons. It's essentially helium without its electrons. A beta particle is a high energy electron. Gamma rays are not particles, but electromagnetic waves. It's a form of high-energy light. Neptunium's state of discovery was in 1940 by Edwin McMillan and Philip Abelson. Edwin Madison McMillan was an American physicist credited with being the first ever to produce a transuranium element, Neptunium. For this, he shared the 1951 Nobel Prize in Chemistry with Glenn Seaborg. Philip Hogg Abelson was an American physicist, scientist editor, and science writer. 
Trained as a nuclear physicist, he co-discovered the element Neptunium, worked on isotope separation in the Manhattan Project, and wrote the first study of nuclear marine propulsion for submarines. Neptunium is a radioactive metal. Neptunium is little used outside research. The isotope Neptunium-237 has been used in neutron detectors. In early 1934, Enrico Fermi in Italy tried to produce elements 93 and 94 by bombarding uranium with neutrons and claimed success. Ida Tak Norak questioned Fermi's claim, pointing out he had failed to do a complete analysis and all that he had found were fission products of uranium. Ironotic Nitak was a German chemist and physicist. In 1934, she was the first to mention the idea later named nuclear fission. With her husband, Walter Nodek, in Otto Berg, she discovered element 75, rhenium. She was nominated three times for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, according to Wikipedia. Fermi had in fact discovered nuclear fission, but not realized it. In 1938, Horia Holebe and Yvette Kauchhois claimed to have discovered element 93, but the claim was also criticized on the grounds that element 93 did not occur naturally. Horia Hulebe was a Romanian nuclear physicist known for his contributions to the development of X-ray spectroscopy, according to Wikipedia. Yvette Cauchois was a French physicist known for her contributions to X-ray spectroscopy and X-ray optics and for pioneering European synchrotron research, according to Wikipedia. Enrico Fermi was an Italian physicist and the creator of the world's first nuclear reactor, the Chicago Pile 1. He has been called the quote-unquote architect of the nuclear age and the quote-unquote architect of the atomic bomb. He was one of the very few physicists to excel in both theoretical physics and experimental physics, according to Wikipedia. Neptunium was first made in 1940 by Edwin McMillan and Philip Abelson at Berkeley, California. It came from a uranium target that had been bombarded with slow neutrons and which then emitted unusual beta rays indicating a new isotope. Abelson proved that there was indeed a new element present. Neptunium, element number 93, the actinoid elements, symbol NP, atomic number 93, atomic weight, 237.05. Its color is silvery metallic. Its standard state is solid at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Its classification is metallic. As remote as the planet Neptune, I'm a mean radioactive menace. We're a nasty crew of tooled up elements who take our gang names from the solar system's super cold far off worlds, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Sitting between the more famous Uranium and Plutonium, I am less well known and often forgotten about. Discovered in 1940 at the University of California, Berkeley, I was the first artificially created element. I can occur naturally as a byproduct of the radioactive breakdown of uranium, but this will only ever create vanishingly small amounts. I'm more commonly made as a waste product of nuclear reactors and with a 2 million year half-life, I'm around and thoroughly nasty for a long time. I can substitute for either of my brothers in nuclear bombs, so I am a strictly controlled and heavily monitored substance. Neptunium's date of discovery was in 1940, its density is 20.45 grams per centimeters cubed, its melting point is 637 degrees Celsius or 1179 degrees Fahrenheit, its boiling point is 4000 degrees Celsius or 7232 degrees Fahrenheit. Neptunium, element number 93. Sitting next to uranium on the periodic table is another radioactive element called neptunium. This actinide was named after the planet Neptune. Neptunium was first discovered after being made inside a nuclear reactor. It is used mainly in scientific research. Its atomic mass is 237. Its state is a solid. Its discovery was in 1940 by Edwin McMillan and Philip Abelson. Here we have a piece of uranite, an ore that has tiny traces of neptunium. Neptunium, NP, radioactive chemical element of the actinoid series of the periodic table that was the first transuranium element to be artificially produced, atomic number 93. Though traces of neptunium have subsequently been found in nature where it is not primeval but produced by neutron-induced transmutation reactions in uranium ores. American physicist Edwin M. McMillan and chemist Philip H. Abelson first found neptunium in 1940 after uranium had been bombarded by neutrons from the cyclotron at Berkeley, California. The element was named after the planet Neptune, which is the first planet beyond Uranus. Hence, Neptunium. 
Neptunium has been produced in weighable amounts in nuclear reactors. In breeder reactors, it is a byproduct of plutonium production from uranium-238. About one part neptunium is produced for every 1,000 parts plutonium. All neptunium isotopes are radioactive. The stablest is neptunium-237, with a half-life of 2,144,000 years. And among the most unstable is neptunium-225, with a half-life of more than 2 microseconds. Half-life. This is the period in which half of a given sample of a radioactive isotope will have decayed into another form. After one half-life, half remains undecayed. After two, one quarter, and so on. Half-lives range from fractions of a second to billions of years. Neptunium-237 can be separated from used reactor fuel to study the physical and chemical properties of the element. Neptunium, a silvery metal, exists in three crystalline modifications. The room temperature form, alpha, is orthorhombic. Neptunium is chemically reactive and is more similar to plutonium than to uranium, with oxidation states from plus 3 to plus 7. Neptunium ions in aqueous solution possess characteristic colors. Neptunium 3 plus is a pale purple. Neptunium 4 plus is a pale yellow green. Neptunium NPO2 plus is a green blue. Neptunium NPO2 2 plus varying from colorless to pink or yellow green, depending on the anion present. And NP7 plus, dark green. Compounds of neptunium have been prepared in all oxidation states, from plus 3 to plus 7. They are generally similar to compounds of uranium and plutonium with the same oxidation state. Neptunium has no known biological role. It is due to its radioactivity. So how is neptunium explained in X minutes or less in as a short amount of time as possible? Once again, if you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. More videos are coming. Stay tuned for future videos. Other than that, thank you everyone for watching. Have a great one.